Hello everyone, my name is Bruce. You're watching DIY Homestead Projects. In today's video, I'm gonna be installing new outlets in my garage. This is a typical two-car garage, and as a lot of uh, garages come these days, they, they don't have very many outlets. My particular garage happens to have two outlets and one GFI outlet. That is a 15 amp outlet on a 20 amp circuit. On the other wall is another outlet, which is a GFI. It is uh, also a 15 amp. Those two outlets are on the same circuit. And this one is down line from the GFI. The builder installed 15 amp outlets on a 20 amp circuit. If you are deciding to do this for yourself, you're gonna to have to do your own research and determine whether or not you need a 15 or a 20 amp outlet. I shut the uh, breaker off and now you can see that it's off. So now I know there is no power to this outlet and I'm safe to work on it. This particular box is two and one eighth inches deep and then I got two of these other smaller boxes which are an inch and a half deep. The reason I got a deeper box for this first one is I'm going to have a lot more wiring inside this box. Depending on the size of the box you have, there's a lot of requirements as to how many wires you can have within the box. You can find charts for that online. Just do a Google search for how many wires in an electrical box and you'll get a chart that'll tell you exactly how to count the devices, switches, wires, connectors, and come up with a number so that you know that your box is going to meet the requirement for that. Basically, I'm going to use one of these connectors for Romex. I'm going to do a knockout on the back and mount this in the box. So this will clamp my Romex and I'll, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Now this box is going to be mounted over the stud that that original outlet was mounted to which is going to be basically in line with these holes on this side. I want the box to cover the original outlet hole. I'm just going to drill a couple of extra holes in here so I can put some screws through this into the stud. This box is going to sit over the top and cover the hole for the other box. So this is how I'll mount the box. Now even though these wires are probably long enough to work with, I'm going to do it a little bit differently than that. If I bring them through the box like this, I'll have connections that are going to have about five wires all under one wire nut. If I put a connection inside this box and bring wires two wire sets of wires through here then I'll never have a connection that needs more than three maybe one that needs four wires under one wire nut now, I already have a bunch of wire nuts that are good for three and four 12 gauge wire connections and I don't want to go buy a bunch of a new wire nuts to put everything in this original box you could do it that way but I'm gonna do it a little bit different and I'm gonna have outlet in that direction and I'm gonna have an outlet up that direction. So this is really where the power comes into the outlets and it's also gonna be in the center of the two outlets, which is not ideal, but that's the way it's working out. This is the wire I've purchased for this project. It's 12-2 with a ground wire. So two conductors and a ground wire and it's 12 gauge. You can tell that by the yellow color. I want to cut two pieces that are about uh, 10 inches long and I'm just going to cut them with some tin snips. So I'm going to strip these back. So these two are going to get connected together like this and come through my Romex clamp Then this will go into my box just like this. And 
So I've got two separate wires come through here and all these will be connected to the wires coming out of the original box. I'm going to push my ground wire through here and ground this box from the set of wires in the wall. These yellow wire nuts are good for up to three 12 gauge wires and that's what I've got here. These are maxed out. I took my pliers. It'll uh, allow you to get a good twist on the wires and good bonding between all the wires. And then they have a cutter on there and I take it and I cut it at a slight angle which helps the uh, wire nut go on. And then you don't want too much copper sticking out. You want the wire nut to cover up the entire bare exposed copper wire. And I just put these on just as tight as I possibly can. And then that'll allow me to screw it to the stud. Yes, I cut myself. If you didn't already know this, these boxes are sharp. I knew that beforehand and I still cut myself. It's pretty much routine that I get cut at least once throughout every project I do. Now I made two of these because I've got this box and I've got one more box that will connect to this wire that heads off to the right. But this is the most complicated box here we're looking at. So I've got, these are the two wires that are connected behind the outlet. This whole box is all one circuit connected to the GFI across the garage. So these two will connect to one side, the right outlet, and those two will connect to the left outlet and go out and up to that other box. So I'll have three wires on one side and three wires on the other. I've got everything twisted tight and then I'm going to put the caps on these positives or hots. And then shove them all in there. 
Now this one is kind of, like I said, non-standard and unusual. I've got two sets of grounds wired together, but be remember behind this box, all the grounds are connected to the one line that's coming in and there's no ground loops with it set up like this. So I'm gonna get this all tucked away neatly, hopefully try to pack it into this box and then get it all set so I can put the cover on. Now this box is going to be pretty close to the same as that main box, except this is the end of the line. So all I have is three wires coming in, bringing power to the box, a hot black, white neutral, and a ground. So I'm going to wrap the ground around my grounding screw and tighten that down. And then I'll connect the two ground pigtails that I put together earlier. Two ground pigtails will connect to that. Two blacks will connect to this black and two whites Neutrals will connect to this neutral. Second box is wired up and you can see I've neatly pushed to the back of the box the three clusters of the uh, the grounds underneath the red cap. I've got the uh, neutrals, the whites, three of those under a yellow cap and three hots underneath the uh, yellow cap. You can see I've got the box wired in. So I've got three grounds under this wire, one connect to the box. And I just brought that up, looped it around that ground screw, and then twisted it in with the other two coming from the switch and the outlet. I've got two wires, one coming in and going to the switch on the hot, and two neutrals coming from the outlet back to the incoming wire into the box. So I just got to tuck all this into the box so that nothing's catching on something else. And this is hard to do. I know you can't see much here. So all I need to do is plug in both of my fluorescent lamps and then I've got a on off switch for those two fixtures. Well, after I got all of all three outlets installed, I did this first one, of course, which was the most complicated and I showed you the most detail. I went from one duplex outlet to a double duplex here, a double duplex back over here behind me, and then added this switched outlet for my two four foot fluorescent light fixtures that you could just barely see the corner of one in the picture. But I've got that on a switch, which makes it really nice. And then I've got another four foot um, fluorescent light up above me here. And I used to have, let me back up so you can see, I used to have that cord coming down and on the table with a uh, power strip. <laughs> I had cords and power strips all over the place because all I had was this one single outlet here. Well, it was a duplex, two outlets. So I've quadrupled how many outlets I have in my garage and this over in this work area above this bench is where I really needed extra outlets. So hopefully this will help you guys out. You can check out those two videos. I'll put links to that all in the uh, description if you want to go look at the details of that. But overall, this is for installing new outlets in your garage how I did it, I used half inch conduit with just a few fixtures. This whole thing, the, all three of these outlets, the wiring, the switch, the uh, outlet plugs and all that, I think it cost me about 65 bucks. It's a pretty simple project that most anyone could do. Hopefully it helped you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll put a couple of videos up on the screen that I think you might enjoy, and we'll see you guys on the next video.